What's up guys, G5 Cosmos here for Game 5 Smash. So as I'm sure you know, Terry Bogard just came out. He just released in Smash today, along with patch version 6.0. And uh, I just got a chance to try him out. Normally for these videos, I kind of like show you guys the very first frame I play of the character, but then I kind of miss out on some details and stuff. So I did spend a few minutes with him, just get a feel for him. Um, to give you guys a little background, uh, as you may know if you've watched a lot of videos on this channel, I'm actually, uh, Ryu and Ken are my worst characters in the game, so I was really not expecting to like this character when I saw he plays kind of like Ryu and Ken. Um, so, starting off with his, like, general mobility, um, he carries that new, you know, fighting game mechanic of Ryu and Ken where he has to face the opponent's character at all times. Um, or I guess not at all times, like, you can run and still do a roar back air like that, but, um, you know, he'll turn around on his own as he jumps around as soon as he lands. Um, but unlike Ryu and Ken, he has a lot more control in the air. And that's, I think, the biggest issue for me about playing Ryu and Ken uh, is I really don't like the way they move in the air. Like if, you, if you jump one way, you can't really drift back. But Terry feels more like a kind of normal Smash character, the way you move around in the air, which I really like. And it, it makes him control much more fluidly while still, you know, being the kind of fighting game style character that he is. Um, like Ryu and Ken, he also has um, some of the, like, command inputs, uh, which I'm really, really bad at, as you'll get to this video. But that doesn't really matter because uh, I'm actually finding that I really like this character so far. And he seems actually pretty crazy good. Um, just from playing him for like 10 minutes or so, he seems to have pretty crazy damage output. So another one of the mechanics that he shares with Ryu and Ken in this game is that he can cancel certain moves into his specials. And this works for both the command input specials and the regular ones. So, for example, uh, I'm not sure if it's any grounded move. It, it may be any grounded move, but you can certainly do jab. Um, just do like jab uh, one, two, and then, um, or just jab one, I guess. I think you can do jab one, two, but I'm just missing it. Now you can do forward tilt into specials. That would be not the, the right one to do. Um, down tilt, I think. We're, yeah, I think you can do all of his tilts. Um, smash attacks, mm, I don't know about that. I didn't really test that far into it. But um, what the first thing I noticed was I wanted to see, like, does he have throw combos? That's kind of the first thing I try out. And I actually tested this with DI away and air dodge, and it, this still works. You can do up throw, up air. And up air, um, up air, down air, and neutral air can also be canceled um, into your special moves. So you can do a true combo uh, if I get it. Oops. Oh, let's get it to show up as true on the meter. It, it's definitely true, but yeah, there you go. I think, I, think we're, I think we missed one hit on that, though. Yeah, I was getting six hits on that before. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's a true combo that you can do. Up throw, up air, down B, because the down B cancels out of the up air, and that does 34%. This is the non-commanded input. Um, there's the six hits. So you can do actually 36. Um, I'm not sure what hit was like missing, maybe like one of the hits of the down B. You can get guaranteed 36 off a of grab at zero. That's That works on DIOA. Like, this is the CPU. The CPU is not doing anything now, but I tested it uh, with DIOA and air dodge, so it works. Uh, you can also do that into other specials, but they don't do as much damage. Um, there may be, like, more you can get if you do, like, um, this thing, because then you, like, keep him off stage. But he's, well, maybe you could do up B, let's see. Oh, he's too high up, but, and the, the move has too, too much lag. That's another interesting thing about Terry, is he has a back special. So if you press back B, um, which kind of makes sense because, you know, you're, you're always facing the person. So there's no real reason to do, like, you know, this is his regular side B, like his, his forward B, I guess, if you want to say. Um, there'd be no reason to do that the other direction because you're always going to be facing the opponent unless you're in the air, you know? Um, so that's that's pretty interesting. Yeah, as, a, as a note that they mentioned in the trailer, of course, if you're holding sideways for long enough when you're in the air, I don't think it works on the ground, right? Um, yeah, if you're holding back for long enough, you can still reverse the direction. Is back B? Well, I didn't get there, but... Yeah, uh, speaking of which, his recovery uh, seems pretty good. So you can use a combination of the back B. Well, if you do it, not the one that, that you, you can even angle his up a little bit. It's not like straight up. But if you like, if you're like over here, you can do back B, um, and then you can do up B also. And up B has an interesting mechanic. By the way, back B, as you can see, does not send you into um, free fall. You can act out of it, but up B does send you into free fall. But if you hold down for I don't know how many frames, but like a certain amount of time before up being, oh, that was a command input by mistake. Um, then you'll get invincibility, so like, I, can, I guess I can show you this way to just see what it looks like exactly. Uh, you see how he has, like, intent- actually, almost, like, on the whole thing, it's pretty crazy. 
and you can do this off stage too so you can you know if you're if you're descending already it'll be a little risky because you'll fast fall unless you like tilt the stick but um like if i'm like here you can do like this and then you you have a you have an invincible recovery with um that you, you know you could probably buffer the down out of uh back b maybe uh, i'm not sure i haven't really looked into that too much but it seems like potential for a very good recovery because of those iframes um, which is definitely something to look out for. So talking more about like his neutral again, we don't know much, you know, just just started playing him um, Like I said grab confirms seem really good uh, I don't think he gets anything off of any other throws. I tried comboing out of like down throw sends behind and uh, That's like the fastest thing you could do But his aerials also have really good like combo potential I think in general so you can do so as I mentioned before um, forward air down air and neutral air all combo into special so if you like land one of these um, or oh, excuse not forward air up air down air and neutral air. Um, so like if you just like land any aerial, uh, you can combo it into a special. I'm not getting like whatever the, the right special would be at this point, but um, but what's more is is you can also combo most of them into his ground moves, which also then combo into his specials. So uh, for example, forward air um, is not a move that you can cancel into a special, but you can do like forward air, um, you do like forward air F tilt. It works if you get the spacing right. I guess you have to be a little closer. Uh, I was doing this before. Order F tilt and then side B, and that's a true combo. And that that was zero to forty. It just oops, sorry, Mike. Um, and yeah, so oops, we're supposed to do F tilt. You could also probably do jab. And jab's a little not not enough range there, I guess. But um, if you do it fast enough, it's true. Like I I got it to be true before. I messed up there. Uh, but you could do the same thing for like up air and like mix up. And th this is, I'm like I said, I'm not doing any of the command input special, so they'll all do more damage than this. So you'd have more than that. So it seems like his damage output is pretty like crazy and. His aerials to like space with don't seem bad. You could also do this out of back air, like back air, um, back air F tilt. I was getting it before. Come on. I think this is true if you do it a certain way. Uh, I'm probably just like missing the timing on something, but yeah. See, I didn't do the special move soon enough, but that the back air F tilt is true, and then you can combo the special out of it if you cancel it at the right time. I don't, I'm not getting it, but it it is true. Um, same thing for like, it, it, there's just so many things you could do from like his aerial. So I think he's going to have crazy damage output. Then he also has this, um, this go mechanic. Uh, and I've seen people do some combos off of this. Um, I actually don't know the input for it. Uh, I'm not going to like bother going into it, but you can do like crazy damage. Um, it shows it here. Let me, let me try it. Let's see if we can get it really quickly. Cause I think you have to do a command input. So, um, yeah. So he has the power geyser and the buster wolf. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm terrible at command inputs, guys. It, I'm, that's not something I'm going to be able to get. But you can check on Twitter. There's a lot of people posting combos of stuff like that where you can get really, like, crazy um, damage out of it. And, and people even getting, like, combos that take people from 8 to death uh, from, like, a stray aerial or like, a stray tilt. Um, so he seems like a character with crazy damage output. A lot of kill power probably as well because if we get, like, let me, let's take Ryu to higher percent and see what these special moves do to him. Um, seems like he could potentially be good at edge guarding because he has a good recovery, which is just great for him in general. Um, I think he's definitely going to be a very solid character. Uh, might might be like a might be the, a better Shoto kind of mechanic. That actually killed barely, but still. Uh, and these are like you can charge this move also. Um, this isn't going to kill too much, but yeah, you can like go off stage and edge guard like that. His airspeed does not seem bad either. Like you can, you can go places, and then you could probably do like uh, let's see. I guess that doesn't combo here. But that almost combos like into the full thing. Um, so there's just a lot of potential here, and I really like the character. Uh, his stage, this is the Omega form, but the, um, the regular form is an interesting kind of hybrid of a, it's, it's, it looks like a walk-off stage, but it's actually, um, has, like, invisible walls that you can knock people into, like a regular fighting game. Uh, and eventually those walls break based on a certain amount of knockback, I assume, and you can knock them into that. But yeah, that's just the basic first look of Terry. I'm really looking forward to see, um, what, you know, develops with this character and how his metagame plays out. I think he's a really character and yeah let me know guys in the comments below what you think of terry so far uh do you think he's top tier do you think you know, where do you think he is in the tier list uh, and you can also stay tuned for my video coming next on the patch notes uh, it actually probably will be up by the time you watch this video so yeah guys thanks for watching and please subscribe to game 5 smash for more tech and tips thanks for watching bye bye